The recent verdict from the Electoral Court regarding the registration of former President Jacob Zuma's MK party by the Electoral Commission of South Africa has stirred significant debate and legal contention. Initially, the ANC had fervently sought to challenge the legality of the MK party's registration, contesting it as unlawful. However, the Electoral Court has unequivocally dismissed the ANC's plea, ruling that the actions of the IEC were conducted within the confines of the law. In a decisive and unanimous judgment delivered by Judge Lebogang Modiba of the Electoral Court, sitting in the Gauten High Court in Johannesburg, it was asserted that the ANC's objections lacked substance, urgency, and fell outside the jurisdiction of the court. Judge Modiba remarked, and I quote, The ANC failed to provide a compelling rationale for its delayed recourse to legal action. Any objections should have been promptly raised within three days of the MK's party's registration. End of quote. Furthermore, Modiba emphasized that the ANC had ample opportunities to contest the registration of the MK party but failed to do so, therefore attributing the responsibility for its inaction solely to the ANC. The postponement of the media briefing by the ANC following the court's decision underscores the significance and contentious nature of the verdict. The ANC's delay in legal action was juxtaposed against arguments presented by the MK's legal team comprising of Advocate Dalim Pofu and Advocate Muzi Sikakane. They contended that the ANC's sudden legal challenge was precipitated by Zuma's vocal support for the MK party. Advocate Mpofu asserted, and I quote, The ANC's belated objections only surfaced following Zuma's declaration of support for the MK party. It was this announcement that jolted them into action. End of quote. Zuma's involvement as the MK party's presidential candidate, despite his suspension from the ANC in January, adds layers of complexity to the legal and political framework. In its defense, the ANC has lodged court papers in January alleging the irregularities in the IEC's decision to register the MK party. The ANC argued that allowing the MK party to participate in elections could jeopardize the integrity of the electoral process. This judgment arrives on the eve of another legal confrontation between the ANC and the MK party, this time in the KwaZulu Natal High Court in Durban, focusing on alleged copyright infringement. The ramifications of this ruling reverberate not only within legal circles but also across South Africa's political spectrum, underscoring the intricacies and tensions inherent in the country's democratic processes. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.